Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 and 20, the weekly series where I try to make two cards in 20 minutes. Let's see if we can manage that this week. We're going to use some Tim Holtz stamps. Um, you may recognize these from New Toy Tuesday a few weeks ago. A lovely stencil. Thin lit dies, like these little booter flies, they're so cute. And a couple of distress inks. Um, first things first, we're going to do our panels. Now I've got two top fold card bases made out of Nina Solar White 110 pound, because that's how I roll. I want to do two card panels. And I think on one I'm going to use the swirly part, and on the other one I'm going to use the this part. I'm going to use blender brushes because I'm really finding that I like them a lot more than the spongies for um, working through a stencil. It's just a lot nicer to work with. I'm using Prize Ribbon and Mermaid Lagoon distressings. Cause you know, if I can put Mermaid Lagoon anywhere, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's just how it works. All right, let me get this where I want it. There we go. Okay, timer's gonna start now. First things first, let's do a little, little prize ribbon. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty, so pretty this swirl. Yeah. Then I'm going to wipe the stencil off a little bit and go in with some Mermaid Lagoon. So pretty. this side. Look at that so far. Mm, yummy. Okay, then move over. Wipe it off. Oops, oh no, got caught. We'll do a little prize ribbon. And then we'll move down. And let's see, probably right about there. A little prize ribbon again. Mermaid Lagoon. Oops, back here. Get back here. All right. Then let's see. Let's find a good spot. Mermaid Lagoon it. I didn't wipe my stencil off. Swirly here. Oh, look how pretty. And I'm just going to go with a little bit of ink here. Whatever's left on my brush. with Mermaid Lagoon. Actually, I'm going to add a little to my brush because it's not as not as inky. Alright. 
right, got one stenciled up. Isn't that pretty? Let's do the second one. The second one, we're gonna use the other half of the stencil. Like this. Prize ribbon. I love this shade of blue. Oh yeah, move it over, get it lined up. That looks about right. Go back to prize ribbon. Oh my. Do you love it? I love it. Okay. Now, line it back up. Prize ribbon. I like the way these two colors blend together. Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, that's pretty. I've got a little mess up there, but I think that's going to be covered up, so that's okay. All right, let me move this out of the way. I know you hurt my chair, sorry. All right, I'm going to do a little stamping on the background. Which way do we go? We'll do the butterfly because she's so pretty. You know, with some prize ribbon. Sorry for my reach, my piece of scrap paper here. photo because I want a little little brown in here. And this is vintage photo archival. So it will be light because this ink pad is almost dried up. I really need a rinker so it's not going to stamp super solid. Just gives a little bit of brown in the background. See, there are uses for your ink pads, even when they're dry. And then, go in with the brush, a little bit, 
orange it up a little. Okay, there's that one. I am digging it, digging it, digging it. Okay, so let's move on to this one. Let's give it a little grunge too. Stamp our butterfly some more. Isn't she pretty? So pretty. One, I'm going to stamp with Mermaid Lagoon rather than Prize Ribbon. do them in a little bit of brown and this can be spotty I'll be perfectly fine with that and then pop it like this Got all over my fingers. Inky fingers. There we go. That looks nice. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut these down. And let's see. Move you out of the way there. Let's see how small do we want to go? That's a pretty nice background. I don't know that I want to cut too much of it off. That one. So that is number four. One, two, three, four from the outside. I'm going to cut these and be right back. these down so they don't shift. I cut a background out the other day that I did a um, grid pattern on and ended up crooked. <laughs> did I use it anyway? Yes, I did. Because that's how I roll.
Look at that. Yes. Oh, I am so pleased with these backgrounds. Oh, sorry for the sniffles. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these stuck down. white space. cut butterflies I think we'll do about this one on this one and this one on this one and I'm going to cut them from gold and then I'm going to do the back like the backing part in black Bubby's cut out. There's our backing. Pretty ladies. Hear my chair rolling. All right, get them poked out of here. Oh, there goes Miss Molly talking. One thing I like to use these butterflies for, you know, if I sit and I've done backgrounds and, you know, you kind of sit and do just a bunch of them and sometimes you have some you don't really like, so you can 
take this butterfly, cut out a black, brown, gold, whatever, and cut up your backgrounds that you don't really care for with the backer part and oh, you get a background even if you don't like it behind one of these and it's freaking beautiful. It's great. Okay, baby girl, come out. So pretty. Poke, poke, pokey, pokey. I got a few left on the side, looks like. flies away so I don't lose them because trust me I will that's just how it is okay put them back on their thing let's see which one goes with which one here this one goes with this one I think yeah I see look how pretty mmm Get our bear glue. Bear glue always. Always, always. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's so simple, but so pretty. And we'll get this other one glued on. One thing I like to do too is um, just glue the body down, like the center, and then fold the wings, I'll let the wings pop up a little bit off of that base. It looks so pretty that way. Missed another spot. Missed a spot. Oh no. Okay. That's a really pretty look to have it that way. But I wanted them to be completely put together today. Glue it on. Yes. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to put these on with foam tape so they're not flat. I'm sorry for the on. <laughs> it's been a long day for me. Okay.
way too big, huh? All right, there's one. Pretty, pretty butterfly. Scoot these across the center so they don't sag in the middle. Nobody likes a saggy butterfly. liners off. of our decorated background a little. Oh no. So I didn't shove that piece, push that piece down, did I? That's the worst part of foam tape, isn't it? Especially if you're doing lots of little, little bits. Let's get the lighter off. Do that one that way. For sentiment, let's just gonna use paper roses cutouts. Make it easy. Do you thank you so much? And thank you. Ah. Ah. Right, trim these out. Thank you. Thank you so much. so much in half because I think I'm gonna like it better that way garbage out of the way thank you so much I'm just gonna use bear glue So much go off of the, the mat too. And then we'll swap to thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll let that tuck under her a little. We need is some bling. I think we need a little bling. Bling binder, where are you? Yeah, 
fabric mature for this anyway. stick on we're going to use some copper stickles but first no naked inside all right so we're gonna take our stencil and just do a tiny bit on the inside i've been doing that a lot lately i don't know why i like it so much but i do just so it's not plain in there. Same thing on this one. But on this one, we get swirlies. There we go. And then we'll take our stickles. And just do some spots. It's kind of nice to get your stickles out once in a while. And the great thing about stickles is it's self-leveling. So if your dot has a little pointy hat on it, when it's dry, it will not. It's great. Okay, I'm gonna stop the timer. Well, I didn't make it, it was 29 minutes, but darn it, I'm getting closer. I think these cards turned out really pretty. And I think, since I like the way those backgrounds turned out so much, I might just sit and actually replicate them and add them to the stash of backgrounds. And then we did a little stenciling on the inside so they're not naked. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Um, maybe next week I'll make the 20. Oh, I'm getting closer. Getting closer. This week is 29. All right. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.